Hi guys, welcome to the Red Bear Farm. Um, if you are watching our other videos, we are making a tomato paste. But in the meantime, while we're, that's cooking, I wanted to show you another thing that I actually need to do and I thought I'll teach you a little uh, feeding recipe for your plants. Um, just yesterday we planted uh, over 200 new day lilies with my husband and they do need a little bit of love. Um, so we did plant them, we did water them but they can probably use a little bit of vitamins. Um, this is something that I've learned uh, from one of the people that grows flowers for women. And so all you will need is a vitamin B complex and B12. Um, you don't have to have B complex. You can use all the B vitamins together. I'll just take a one pill, but it is a little bit more convenient to use a pre-mixed one. Um, and typically I'll use it an empty bottle um, the size of the bottle really doesn't matter. Um, you can use anything that's convenient. For us, I drink a lot of water, so it's just convenient. So typically you want to use a one peel per watering can. Um, I typically mix it in a bottle and then dilute it into three parts for three watering cans. So I will use three B, B complex and the same amount of B12s. It is very hard to dilute them, so you want to make sure that you crush them first. And it's very easy to do inside of the Ziploc bag with the rolling pin. If you don't make pies, um, you can use a glass bottle um, or anything else that's flat and heavy. So you just crush them and convert them into a powder. Um, as you can see, B12 crushes a lot faster, a lot easier than B-complex. Give it a little. It almost looks pretty mixed up all in the bag. Um, as you can see, some of it came out, but it really doesn't matter because now we're going to put all of it in our bottle. I think this is one of the most, one of, and, and the only non 100% organic things that I use in my, in my garden. Everything else we use to feed our plants is 100% organic. And it's uh, usually derived from the plants that we already grow in, in our yard. So you have it there, and you want to add a little bit of warm water. If it helps to dilute it, you can use a bit of a hot water and just uh, shake it really, really well before adding it with the cold water. I did not fill up all the veins, so I can very easily shake it. Since we did crush it, you can see that it's actually that it looks quite well. You can already see the color there. It mixed quite well. And at this point, I will add the rest of it with just regular water. This is a lukewarm water, it's not really hot, so I'm just going to fill it up. Since I actually did use three peels of each kind, I will dilute this in three different watering can or you can use the same water and can and just uh, divide it by three. And what you do with this, it's you pour it under the roots, uh, right under the plant. If it gets on the foliage, that's not a big deal, but it is not going to do any good for you there. You always want to get it under the plant itself. Have my watering can filled up with water pretty much almost all the way up um, this is about 2.6 gallon watering can and i'm going to estimate about a third of this bottle you 
don't need much. So as you can see, this is our day lilies that we planted. We just give a little bit to each. Notice that I actually pre-watered everything, so it absorbs a little bit easier. You just go roll to roll like this, and hopefully in a couple of days you will see a lot bushier, a lot greenier uh, growth. Good luck, I hope you enjoy gardening, and please subscribe and also tune up to our next video of how to make a tomato paste. Hope you enjoyed this two-minute video. Bye!